well hello guys welcome back to my kitchen if it's your first time here you're absolutely welcome to my subscribers i want to say a big thank you i really do appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been showing me i've been getting a lot of positive feedback thank you guys so much so it's almost the end of ramadan for my muslim brothers and sisters and in the u.s it's memorial day weekend we got a long weekend and this is the perfect time to light up that grill okay so in today's video i will be showing you how i do my barbecue at home and i'll be grilling some ribs some chicken and some fish i'm also going to be throwing in some sides as well so if you want to see how i did all of that do keep watching guys I'm using two whole tilapia today and I've washed it really well with some lemon and salt. I also have some chicken drumsticks. I took the skin off. I don't need all that excess fat on it. And we have some ribs. So here I trim off all the excess fat and I also peel off the membrane that just sits on the top because I realized that when you do take it off your ribs tend to be more tender when you cook them. I'm going to be using some hickory smoke on our ribs and I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm going to do with it. First, we're going to make a marinade that we're going to use to season all the meat and chicken that we got. And I'm using one large green bell pepper, one habanero pepper, and some lemon. I have some oil in there, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, some scallions or spring onions, and jalapeno pepper. For spices, I'm using some black pepper, some onion powder, some chili powder, some paprika, some lemon pepper, some Maggi seasoning cubes, some cayenne pepper, some chicken bouillon, and a citrus blend. This is the finished product of our marinade. I've checked for the salt and everything is looking good. Now I'm gonna start with the chicken. I'm just gonna add a generous amount of the good old marinade and just rub it all over the chicken. I have on some gloves and I'm just gonna walk around the chicken. Our chicken is well seasoned right now. I'm just going to cover it up and put it in the refrigerator to marinate. To the fish, I'm adding some chili powder and some of the citrus blend. As we know, seafood loves citrus. I can never overemphasize that. I'm just putting it on both sides and working all around the fish. Next, I'm adding some of the marinade to a fish. Not a lot, just enough. And just get it in everywhere. Make sure it's well seasoned. As you can see, I already um, squeezed in half a lemon. More citrus. <laughs> Our fish is well marinated. We're gonna set it aside as well and move on to the ribs. To that, I'm adding some paprika, some garlic powder, a 
I just added some salt. You can use chicken seasoning or whatever seasoning that you want to put. And I'm using some barbecue rub. I forgot what it's called. I got it from Sam's. It is so good. It has a barbecue smoky flavor, but it's a rub. I love it. I added some lemon pepper as well. Now I'm adding some of the marinade and I'm just going to rub it around all over to make sure that the entire rib rack is covered in the seasoning. So I'm all done sizzling and I'm just going to put it in the refrigerator. I didn't mind overnight because I didn't have time the next day. If you're still watching this video, it means you really like what you see. So if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do take a second and hit that subscribe button. Also click like, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you like it. That way I can bring up more recipes like this. So I'm a fan of charcoal grill all day every day but sometimes the gas grill is a little more convenient and I also like it because I have more control over the temperature because my gas grill has four burners so I can control the different temperatures on each of the burners like I have the ribs on really low heat that way I can slow cook it By this time, my neighbors were like, what is going on in that house? <laughs> the chicken and corn are done. I took them out and I'm grilling my fish now. My hubby decided to add some steaks. <laughs> so look at those ribs. Oh my goodness. It is so juicy and yummy. So what I did here, I took some of that hickory smoked barbecue sauce I told you guys about in the beginning of the video and I added some marinade to it and coated the ribs all over. Being an African home, I had to add some small chops. Guys, you already know. My baby requested for some puff puff and I'm frying some. And they were eating it fresh out of the green. It was so good. If you want to see how I make my puff puff, I have a short video on it with the measurements and everything. You can't miss it. Just check it out. Now everything is done grilling. The ribs are really juicy, succulent, tender really good <laughs> i also have the fish looking really good it was so tasty the chicken was so delicious and yummy as well it was really moist on the inside and had a really good grill color on it Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.